Hi guys, welcome to this session by Telepat. Now before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get further notifications. In this era, we hear the term hacker very frequently used and companies are getting attacked by hackers daily. Companies are taking a lot of precautions to defend against them. Whenever we hear the term hacker, we usually have an image of a bad guy in our head. Now in this session, I'll talk about what exactly is a hacker and what are its type. Now without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Now first of all, let's see who is a hacker. A hacker is an individual who uses computers, networking or other skills to overcome a technical problem. The term also may refer to anyone who uses their abilities to gain unauthorized access to systems or networks in order to commit crimes. A hacker may, for example, steal information to hurt people via identity theft or bring down a system and hold it hostage in order to collect a ransom. Now thanks to movies and television shows that portray hackers in dangerous and criminal way, hackers seem to be mythical and powerful individuals using their computer knowledge to break into systems and steal information. Now not all hackers are bad. Hacking itself is not an illegal activity unless the hacker is compromising a system with the owner's permission. Any companies and government agencies actually employ hackers to help them secure their systems. So now we have three types of hackers, black hat, white hat and grey hat. We will discuss about each type of hackers in detail later in this video. But first, let's see the similarities between all type of hackers. First, the jack of all trades. Hackers have knowledge of all techs and about upcoming techs as well. They are updated about new patches and they are ready to get the weakness of that patch. The most common personality and characteristic of a hacker is high intelligence, consuming curiosity and facility with intellectual abstractions. Most are also relatively individualistic and anti-conformist. Now contrary to stereotype, hackers are not usually intellectually narrow. They tend to be interested in any subject they can provide mental simulation and can often discourage knowledgeably and even interestingly on any number of obscure subjects. Hackers are generally weakly motivated by conventional rewards such as society approval or money. They tend to be attracted by challenges and excited by interesting toys and to judge the interest of work or other activities in terms of challenges offered and the toys they get to play with. Now that's interesting, right? So let's see, what is a black hat hacker? Like all hackers, black hat hackers usually have extensive knowledge about breaking into computer networks and bypassing security protocols. They are also responsible for writing malware, which is a method used to gain to these systems. Their primary motivation is usually for personal or financial gain. But they can also be involved in cyber espionage, protest or perhaps are just addicted to the thrill of cybercrime. Black hat hackers can range from amateurs getting their feet wet by spreading malware like script kiddies to experienced hackers that aim to steal data, specifically financial information, personal information and login credentials. Not only do black hat hackers seek to steal data, they also seek to modify or destroy them as well. Now how do black hat hackers work? Hacking can operate like a big business, the scale of which it makes is easy to distribute malicious software. Organizations boast partners, resellers, vendors and associates and they can buy and sell licenses for malware to other criminal organizations for use in new regions and markets. Some black hat organizations even have call centers. They used to make outbound calls pretending to work for a well-known tech organization such as Microsoft. Other hackers are swiftly automated and don't involve human contact. In these cases, attack bots roam the internet to find unprotected computers to infiltrate often through phishing, malware attachments or links to compromised websites. Now let's see some famous black hat hackers. This is the interesting part. One of the most famous black hat hacker is Kevin Mitnick, who at one point was the most wanted cyber criminal in the world. As a black hat hacker, he hacked into 40 major corporations included IBM and Motorola and even the US National Defense Warning System. He was subsequently arrested and served time in jail. Another well-known example is Sutomo Shimomura, who is a cyber security expert credited with tracking down Kevin Mitnick. A computational physics research scientist 
Shimomura also worked for the US National Security Agency. He was one of the leading researchers who first raised awareness of cell phones lack of security and privacy. Now after this interesting part we also have what are white hat hackers. White hat hackers use their capabilities to uncover security failings to help safeguard organizations from dangerous hackers. They can sometimes be paid employees or contractors working for companies as security specialists who attempt to find gaps in security. White hat hackers are the only reason large organizations have less downtime and experience fewer issues with their websites. Most hackers know it will be very hard to get into systems managed by large companies than those operated by small business. A subset of ethical hackers include penetration testers or we call them as pen testers who focus specifically on finding vulnerabilities and assessing risk within systems. Now how do these white hat hackers work? White hat hackers use the same hacking methods as black hats but the key difference is that they have permission of the system owners first which makes the process completely legal. Instead of exploiting vulnerabilities to spread across the world White hat hackers work with network operators to help fix the issue before others can discover it. For some white hat hackers, the process is gamified in the form of bug bounty programs. These are the competitions that reward hackers with cash prizes for reporting vulnerabilities. There are even training courses, events and certifications dedicated to ethical hacking. Now let's see some famous white hat hackers. The first one we have is Tim Berners-Lee. He is very famous for inventing the World Wide Web. He is also a member of the White Hat Hacking Camp. Today he serves as the director of the World Wide Web Consortium, which oversees the development of the web. The second one we have is Greg Hogland. He is a computer forensic expert who is best known for his work and research contributions in malware detection and even in rootkits and online gaming hacking. Previously, he worked for the US government and the intelligence community. Now that we know what black hat and white hat hackers are just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in cyber security then intellipat has a post graduation certification in cyber security and ethical hacking by enict academy mnit jaipur this course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by mnit professors and industry experts let's see what gray hackers are that's very interesting Somewhere between white and black hat are gray hat hackers. Gray hat hackers often look for vulnerabilities in a system without the owner's permission or knowledge. If the issues are found, they report them to the owner, sometimes requesting a small fee to fix the problem. Some gray hat hackers like to believe they are doing something good for companies by hacking their website and invading their networks without permission. Still, company owners rarely appreciate unauthorized forays into their business information infrastructure. Often, a gray hat's real intention is to show off their skill and gain publicity, maybe even appreciation, for what they consider a contribution to cybersecurity. Now, how do these gray hat hackers work? I will tell you both scenarios where gray hat hackers can become either a white hat or a black hat hacker. Some companies use bug bounty programs to encourage gray hat hackers to report their findings. In these cases, organizations provide a bounty to avoid the broader risk of having the hacker exploit the vulnerability for their own gain. Sometimes, if organizations do not respond promptly or do not comply, the gray hat hackers may become black hats by posting the point of exploitation on the internet or even exploiting the vulnerability themselves. Now let me show you an example of a gray hat hacker. An often cited gray hat hacker example took place in 2013 where Khalil Shate, an unemployed computer security researcher hacked the Facebook page of Mark Zuckerberg. His motivation for doing so was to force action to correct a bug he discovered which followed him to post in an user's page without their consent. He had informed Facebook of this bug only to be told by Facebook that the issue was not a bug. But after this incident, Facebook corrected his vulnerability which could have been a very powerful weapon in the hands of professional spammers. Shrete was not compensated by Facebook's white hat program as he violated their policies. Now that we know what is a black hat, grey hat and white hat hackers are, I have a quiz question for you. Adam. 
Adam is a guy who works for a company as a penetration tester. One day, company refused to give him more salary. Then he hacked the company's server and stole all the data. Now, my question is, which type of hacker Adam was and which type of hacker he is now? Your options are 1. White hat and black hat 2. Black hat and grey hat 3. Grey hat and black hat and 4. He was a white hat hacker and then he became a grey hat hacker. So guys, please put your answers in the comment section and we will tell you the correct answer after some time. Just a quick info guys. If you want to make a career in cyber security, then Intellipat has a post-graduation certification in cyber security and ethical hacking by ENICT Academy, MNIT Jaipur. This course is of very high quality and cost-effective as it is taught by MNIT professors and industry experts. Now that's it from our side guys. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And stay tuned for more from Intellipat.